Uptalk is a very prevalent phenomenon in speech these days. And let me give you an example of it. If I was going to say in a normal intonation, I'm a sociologist, I would phrase it just like that, I'm a sociologist. However, if I was going to use uptalk in order to say that, as many people do these days, I would say, I'm a sociologist. My interest was piqued one day when I was watching the game show Jeopardy. And I realized that even though the contestants are asked to phrase their responses in the form of a question, most of the time people used a flat intonation, such as, what is William and Mary? However, about a third of the time, people use this uptalk intonation. As you might expect, the more successful someone is on the show, the less likely they will be to use uptalk, given that they're likely more sure of themselves. Well, this was true for the men on the show. However, what I found for successful women on the show was the opposite. The more successful a woman is on the show, the more likely she was to use uptalk. And I argue in my article that this is a strange compensatory mechanism, that unfortunately women feel they need to apologize for their success. Another interesting finding from my study is the way that men use uptalk. And I coded for when people corrected other contestants on the show who had answered incorrectly. And when a man was correcting another man, he hardly ever used uptalk. However, if it was a man correcting a woman who had answered incorrectly, his use of uptalk more than doubled.